around the circle until you get back to your dog. Give Leela a wide berth, she doesn't like it if you get too close to her backside. Wide berth round Leela. Don't put too much pressure on the girl. Remember today is an easy class. Once you get back to your dog, say good, give him a treat. Harkin. So Right. Handlers going anti-clockwise, hill. So this is our e-collar class. All the dogs in this class are trained on e-collars. Okay, most of these had severe issues, including human reactivity and dog reactivity, and a lot of dogs in here had both. Uh, these, a lot of the dogs in here actually have a bite history as well uh, towards other animals and dogs. That's the piss slab, people. <laughs> that square in the middle gets all the dogs. That little concrete square, left turn hill, but today, and there's going to be a post going up either tonight or tomorrow. Sit is about tools and how you shouldn't become reliant on tools. So, <laughs> get to 12 o'clock, handlers only, crouch down, arms out, dog brush remain in a sit, stand up. Say good, give your dog a treat. So at the start of this class, I had every single client oh, getting attacked by a wasp. Right, starting with Debbie. Debbie, you are A, B, A, B, A, B, A. A's, please go clockwise and do a full 360 round every stationary B. Off you go. At the start of this class, I had all the dogs, all the owners, sorry, remove the e-collars from the dogs. So not a single dog in this class has got an e-collar on. Yeah, the idea is one, to make sure they're not becoming solely reliant on the tool, two, to make sure the dog listens to them without the use of the e collar, and three, in case of emergencies, if the e collar dies, or like St. Cara today who actually forgot her e collar. Yeah, so I don't want them to actually stop using their e collars. This is just to one, prove that if you do it right, you're not reliant on the e collar and to, to prepare for emergencies. So no dog in this class today has an e-collar on. Dizzy yet? <laughs> when you get back to your original spot, just stop. Say good, give dog a treat once you're back to your original spot. Right, bees, going anti-clockwise, please do the same. this most random noise from over there. <laughs> Dizzy yet? You're going to get Fudge's cool coat in the second Courtney. We just got one more one more bit of this to do and then you're gonna get your dogs a drink and put your cool coats on if you got them because it's very warm today. Go on to ask him to heal. There's that piss pot that gets him every time. Right, everybody get to 12 o'clock and walk approximately five paces away from your dog. Lloyd, say yes, release, chase. Lee, release Coda. Debbie, release Leela. Courtney, release Fudge. Sophie, release Sasha. Sankara, release Harkin. And Lee, release Lobo, please. Beautiful, right, go and get your dogs a drink, put your cool coats on. How are you feeling about your e-collars, guys? Confident? Yeah, I 
Yeah. Hey, he looks like he's all right. He looks like he's been for a swim before the class. Parking head. Yeah. So Leila was both human reactive and dog reactive. Fudge is protesting because he's got his cool coat on. Fudge was also human reactive, mainly towards men and very dog reactive. Boxers seem to really hate cool coats, but they're one of the breeds that need it more than most. That's it, take out the course, Leela. Beautiful. Right, join the back of the queue. Coda and Sashi are up next. to make sure the handlers are not becoming reliant on the e-collars. So all e-collars were taken off at the start of today's class. Okay, so one, the dog should still be able to perform without the e-collar because e-collar are just a training tool. So like any training tool, you should be able to wean off of it. And that's what the purpose of this class is. And it's also just in case the e-collar dies or anything when the clients are out, the dog still listens. Coda was extremely human aggressive and dog reactive. And so was Sasha, both towards people and dogs. And again, they were all e-collar trained to help with the training. And as you can see, they've got no e-collars on and they can still behave without them now. <coughs> That's it. So I believe it's Harkin and Chase. I went mind blank then. Harkin was extremely dog reactive, fine with people, but very, very dog reactive. Uh, he used to drag his owner over the streets into the road and she'd come back battered and bruised where he'd jump up and scratch her arm. Chase was reactive towards people and dogs. Anything. Anything, anything that moved. <laughs> That's it. Nice recovery. I'll give you that because that's a beautiful recovery. <laughs> that's it, and then do it back, soft in reverse. <laughs> we have a full start there, Harkin. Uh, who wants to go again? We need somebody to go with Lobo. <laughs> yep, that's it, Coda and Lobo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where you going, Chase? Chase, yeah. Sit. Chase is conflicted today. It's like the kids are here. They're not normally here. Sit. You go. You got the whole gang with you. <laughs> Obviously, I just told you about Coda, but Lobo is reactive towards other dogs very reactive he used to have to be muzzled around other dogs never be off his lead around other dogs he, he's also he got a train but for the purpose of today's class he's not wearing any collar at all <laughs> mum's over there There's not a motorbike thing going on today, is there? Uh, oh, she ain't. Hold on, hold on. Who's next? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've just heard the word yes. But again, big picture, no e collar, not trying to kill any dogs, not becoming solely reliant on it. If you ever go out and it runs out of battery or you ever forget it, this is what the purpose of today's class is about. Everyone doing great. <coughs> See it one final time, guys. I thought she's actually going to down on the cone then.
Coda first, I believe, this time. Nice. Well done. So decide who wants to go first. I would say Harkin first personally. That's it, then decide who's going next. It's only because this is the exercise that Harkin struggles with the most. So by calling him first, you're going to give him the win. Yeah, when everyone's done, I'm going to swap you over. In your defence, when you asked him to switch, you then said hill afterwards, and he did put himself at hill. Uh, when you say switch, sir, you meant to just say switch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because hill to Lobo is find your left leg. So when you put him over to your right to do the hill work on the other side, because you said hill, he instinctively went back to your left side. Yeah. That's it. Right. Has everyone done it? Then one person from each team, please move clockwise to the person next to you. So someone's got to go and join Lloyd. Oh no, sorry, Liam and Lobo now. You're with Harkin. I like the fact he gave you a kiss first. <laughs> Ironically, Sasha, right, is looking the most nervy today. Sasha, when she's wearing a recolor, actually looks like one of the more confident dogs. How's that for irony? It's like that, that clear, precise e collar communication actually gives Sasha confidence. Let's go towards him a little bit. So, so, so I've got a little bit too close. Uh, what's that? They're going over here. Got a bit of hill work going on. Done it.